and they get the switch. Berger glancing up at the shot clock, so composed, and Holmes can't pull up the boards one more time, and the lefty is good. And Kim Barnes Rico said, hey, we knew she could score it, but we didn't know her scoring was also precipitated with her ability to initiate offense. We had a Cam Schrader new into the game. Jordan Hobbs as well for Michigan. Another good look for Scalia. Touches nothing. With an injury to her right knee, Chloe Moore McNeil defensively there, number 22, took over that point guard spot. So now they have two initiators of offense. Layla feeling up. Grace Berger trying to sneak away from danger again and gets all the way to the rim. As Mahomes goes, uh, as Holmes goes to work, sees that double team immediately kicks out. And then the turnaround. Skip pass to Moore. McNeil can't get past the defense. Lands on the other side to Yarden Garzon. And they just lull you to sleep. Skip pass, boom, triple. Largest lead of the game, a block inside. They tied her up. She's just taking over this game here on the road. 17.6 rebounds. Brown reaches for the rim and finishes. On the way back down, she had something to say to herself, like, come on, let's go. Trying to fire herself up, and Garrison had a wide open layup and passed it. I'm not sure why. Because she knew that was going to oh, happen. Oh, there you go. OK. Looking for a big road win. Number six, Indiana. Their only loss this year came to Michigan State and Sarah Scalia. She gets right there if they can get some stops. And here we go. Maddie Nolan comes away with the steal. Beats Moore McNeil, but she gets the ultimate stop. The block. Cody Moore McNeil. by the best defenders across the country. That's phenomenal. Ohio State still the best start in program history as Sydney Parrish knocks down a three. I mean, the balance and competitive nature of this conference is unmatched. Holmes on the bench right now with her fourth personal. Leah Brown launches a three. Rebounding has been strongly in Indiana's favor. Kaiser with the block, and they do get the stop. Gerzon turns it over, picked off by Layla Filia. She doesn't have numbers. She's going to go right at Meister and one. They have to stay disciplined to finish. Indiana has been able to keep the Wolverines at bay. Some nifty handling by Berger. One. Quite even right back to 100% coming off that knee injury, and you still see she's lethal. Leah Brown being in attack mode. Kaiser, the pump fake drive, reversal, perfect. Oh my. Indiana, one of its last eight from the floor as the offense is slowed down. Layla Felia likes what she sees. 20 points now for Kaiser. They go into Berger against her in the post. My goodness. With the fire that she has, but then you have Grace Berger, who is internally talking to herself after that last bucket, and maybe after this one too. Spinning away from Kaiser. Wolverines will continue to keep the pressure on. Kaiser turning down a three, and more McNeil, a nasty block. Or McNeil with two seconds left off front iron, and there, of course, is Holmes. And a 14 to 5 advantage on second chance points. I'm telling you, that that has been the backbreaker for Michigan all night. The Brown sprints to the rim with those eight points. Six points coming in this fourth quarter, stolen away by Maddie Nolan. Leah Brown goes all the way. Seven seconds on the clock for Berger. He was quiet today, but came up huge in the fourth. That's just flat out tough. Oh my. I mean, she just, I'm telling you. She has a change of speed and just takes you out. They hang 90 plus on one of the best defensive teams in the Big Ten. And the Indiana Hoosiers will improve to un
uncharted territory.